I think when Basket came along, it really was a momentous moment in American art history, and particularly in terms of New York and urban art. Basket was an artist, after all, who came literally from the street. I mean, he was a street artist. He was a uh, somebody who was out there, kind of graffitiing, if you like, on you know the detritus of walls or downtown Manhattan. And particularly at the time, you know, New York was predominantly a white working art world as well. So for a black artist to come in off the streets and to have such an extraordinary impact is is really critical. Principally, there's the savviness of a street artist here who was capable of picking up such an incredible group of influences, both from the street in terms of the technique that he's using, to art history, as well as more kind of cerebral influences such as the Grey's Anatomy book that he was given as a child after he'd had a heavy accident. Basker all the time is looking at the influences around him, allowing this convergence of different inspiration to uh, explode on the canvas surface. In this, you have these wonderful symbols. You've got the crown, you've got this sort of crown of thorns that's here, the arrows, you know, the head. I think to get to grips with humanity by grappling and producing wonderful images of heads in particular was pivotal. And I think all of the greatest baskets, including this wonderful picture, have this ability to illustrate heads in a very sort of open manner. Basquiat has always appealed to great creatives and there are examples of great works by the artists that have gone into the collections of supermodels, fashion photographers and in this case the, uh, the Irish rock band U2 who actually bought the picture and it hung in their studio in Dublin for many, many years. It's really an artist who has no restrictions here. He's laying aside conformity to kind of really be as honest as possible and it's, it's dazzling the effect.